Welcome back. It's Dolores here. And today's topic is the February Spinning Box. It's a monthly subscription done by Kamaj Fiber Arts. And today's theme is Lazy Days of Summer. So I've got a little drink, just some soda. And we'll go through and see what came today. It's always fun to receive mail, and especially when it comes in a package looking like this. It's always beautifully done, nice tissue paper, and today it says it's more fun in the sun. And the first thing we have is this beautiful Nautilus comb top. It is a blend of merino, bamboo, Corydale, and mint fiber. This is inspired by the Nautilus shell. It has a beautiful iridescent colors. So we've got various colors of blues, some brown, and a little bit of beige. This is really fine. There's four ounces of this. So we should have enough to do quite a bit of yarn. And the next thing we have says, catch a smooth wave. This is 18 micron merino and cashmere. Again, very fine fibers. It's not often you get cashmere in a mixture. And again, just beautiful top. Since I think of colors for summertime, I'm going to be dyeing this top and I'll show you what we get from that and then how it's spun up. Also in the February box, we have a beautiful bag. I love these bags. Um, and this is soybean top. It's made from soybean protein. It says it's stronger than silk. I did a little research about it and they said that it works much like a cottonwood, so it's a nice summertime fiber wicks away perspiration to keep you cool. It has a nice sort of a golden ecru color, and this one's really soft also. What the directions suggest is to blend this with some wool to give it the strength and a beautiful hand. It's going to be a nice sort of silky kind of um, hand fabric when we're finished. That one's exciting. I'm not sure whether I'm going to dye this or not, but most likely I will. A um, couple colors and mix it in a bat when I'm doing that. And here, if I didn't mention, we have one ounce. In every box, there is a breed study. So this is one ounce also of Navajo churro. I know from doing Shave Them to Save Them that Navajo churro is one of the endangered species. So in October, I did spin some Navajo churro, so I'm eager to see because each sheep is very different. They give you a wide range of microns that this fiber could be. So what it says about the Navajo churro. Navajo churro breed is considered a rare breed. It's the oldest breed in North America. Spanish explorers brought this sheep breed to America in the 15th and 16th centuries. These sheep with their long staple of protective top coat and soft undercoat are well suited to the extremes of our climate. So this one is a dual coated sheep. When we take a look at the lock, I should be able to pull out the heavier, longer fibers from down. The outer coat, which is called guard hairs, account for 10 to 20% of the fiber and is quite coarse, starting at 35 microns and up. Depending on the fleece, you probably want to pick those Kemp fibers out. As I'm looking at this, I can see they're lighter in color, so I'll probably use a pair of tweezers and actually pick the Kemp hairs out because they can be very coarse. The rest of the soft undercoat, so is it down-like fiber is the undercoat of this. To scour it, it's considered low lanolin piece, so you probably only need one scour and a rinse, depending how dirty it is. And um, 
It's called Navajo churro. The, the actual sheep brought by the Spanish were churro. But the Navajo Indians really like this breed of sheep, so then their name got attached to it to be Navajo churro. What I had always heard was a very coarse, very durable yarn once it's spun. And it's best used for weaving carpets, which is what the Navajo do with it. And things like tapestry, depending how it's spun, you might be able to get a nice smooth yarn out of it that you could use for hats or mittens, but it's an outerwear type of thing, not close to the skin. Traditionally, the Navajo card the fibers all together. They do not separate the long outer fiber from the down. So they're carded together. They are made into rolags, and then they spin them on what's called a Navajo spindle. So let's take a look at this a little closer. These are raw wools. It only has a very little bit of vegetable matter to it. I'll get closer to the camera in just a minute. Let's just pull out a lock. The locks tend to be sort of, there we go, <laughs> a very and you can pretty much see that the long locks are here and then you've got the undercoat here. So let me come a little bit closer where you can really see this. These are the guard hairs. All this lighter material is what I want to pick out because it is coarse. I can feel a little bit of lanolin, but not much, but I'm really surprised how long this fiber is. If I pull out some of the down, let's just see what this is like. It's also quite long. And overall, the texture of it is pretty coarse all the way through. The down isn't really much different from the longer hairs. And of course, in every box, there's some goodies. And the first thing is a necklace with a sun. It says, good vibes only. Make a wish and put on your necklace. Every day has something to celebrate. Wear your necklace as a reminder to smile, stay positive, and let the sun shine in. So, very pretty. Little snack to keep you going. And a postcard. Lazy days of summer. Every summer has a story. Another card says, transform your spinning box or stash. Mary Egbert at Kamaj Fiber Arts is doing a series of spinning lessons. It's called Spinning Extravaganza. It started in January, but it's not too late to join. Every month she puts out a new course on spinning. And I have to tell you, I have learned so much. I've been spinning for a while, but never really concentrated on what the spinning angle is, how many twists per inch, um, you know, trying to get a consistent yarn. I've just been doing it by feel, done okay. But this course has really opened my eyes to a lot of things that really make a difference. So I suggest that you take a look at that. You can find that on kamajfiberarts.com in the online course section. I'm always pleased with what I get in the box. You get four ounces of a colored comb top, four ounces of another fiber, an ounce of raw fiber so that you can do a little breed study with it, and an ounce of some sort of add-in um, silk. This, in this case, we've got the soybean, uh, so something to try. So that's it for the month. We'll have to wait and see what we get next month. If you're interested in getting one of the spinner boxes, the subscriptions are very limited at this point. Go to The Spinner's Box, and I will put a link below. Sometimes there are subscriptions available. Usually the second week of the month uh, is when applications are open, so you might be able to get in on the subscription.